So, I watched Silent Night, and I was pretty disappointed. If you don't know, Silent Night is an Christmas revenge action film from director John Woo. It stars Joel Kinnaman as the main character, who is on his revenge rampage, and Kid Cudi as a cop who is investigating the same crime. And this film has a gimmick. The gimmick is that there is no dialogue in the movie. The protagonist is shot in the neck and unable to talk after his son is killed on Christmas Day in the crossfire of a drive-by shooting. Now he must get revenge against the criminals who did it and take them out one by one. Now I think that the gimmick of this movie is pretty goddamn stupid. Not having any dialogue in the movie, I think is a poor decision. It made the movie worse. <laughs> Especially because there's not really any logical reason to not have any dialogue in the movie. Like, yes, the main character cannot talk, but people could still talk to him. It's not like he's deaf. It was about a, a mute deaf protagonist, I guess it would have made more sense. Yeah, so the gimmick of the movie was a turnoff for me when I was hearing about it, but I was still excited for it because I thought that the trailer was very good and the action looked very good. The biggest issue with the movie is the pacing. There are so many flashbacks upon flashbacks. If you're gonna make a movie with no dialogue, have it be non-stop action. There's about like 20 to 30 minutes in the beginning dedicated to Joel Kinnaman getting buff and training on how to go on his revenge rampage. And if you're gonna make a movie without dialogue, you gotta really cut out the fat because the montage is just way too long, and I think instead of having him be a normal dad, he should have been like ex-Special Forces or something to cut this out. We needed like 15 minutes of backstory, and then the movie is 75 minutes long, and the whole rest of it is just action. It's like the raid, where it's just basically one long action sequence. But instead, there's a lot of starts and stops. It's him getting ready for a while, and then there's a small action scene. Stops, and then there's another action scene, and the emotional stuff really does not work for me. I don't really care about his dead kid because in an action movie like this where the very concept of the movie is that someone's family gets killed in a revenge action movie you should not spend too much time on what instigates the revenge rampage because you know that whatever the protagonist cares about they're gonna lose and it's gonna die that's why john wick is great there's barely any stuff with john wick and the dog and the car and stuff it just is enough to establish them and then it gets straight into the action if it's a movie where the synopsis has after his son is killed don't try to make me care about the son because i'm not gonna get attached to him because i know he's gonna die immediately and because there's no dialogue the son can't have like a strong personality like maybe they could have made him like couple one made me care about him a little more. There's no dialogue, so there's no talking. He's not like a cute little kid or, you know, has any strong connection with any characters because he doesn't talk like everyone else in the movie. Another issue with the movie is the trailer has the climax of all the action scenes. The cool explosions or the cool kills, everything like that, they're all in a trailer for this movie. So you see all the money shots when you just see the trailer. So when you're watching the movie, you can know how the action scenes are gonna end up. And the action scenes are just kind of okay. I mean, they're fine. The protagonist constantly makes stupid decisions that don't make any sense, that gets himself injured during the action scenes, like randomly showing mercy towards certain characters. So if you don't care about anything because there's no dialogue and then the action is just okay, you're not left with a lot to like from this movie. Kid Cudi's character is also very strange. No one can really have a personality, you know, they can't talk, and he's just sort of there, and then like he sort of helps out in like one scene. Um, you could have cut him entirely from the movie and it would not have changed even a little bit. I'm surprised they got him for such like a weird small role. I like Kid Cudi a lot in movies. He's great in X and he's really funny in that movie House Party. Yeah, so this movie's just okay. I wouldn't really recommend watching it. It's like a very middle-of-the-road movie like you watch it on an airplane And then you immediately forget about it. It's kind of boring despite its gimmick It doesn't really use it in a creative or clever way I honestly think the movie would have been a lot better if it was just a silent protagonist instead and people talked to him But he was unable to talk back. But anyway, what's your favorite uh, Action and or Christmas movie. Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Bye. Bye